Hi friends, today's story is about a lady who came from a family of Nobel Prize winners. Yes, you guessed it right, it's Marie Curie. Mary was born in Poland on 7th November 1867. She was the youngest of the five children. Mary was always excited at the thought of going to the school as both her parents were teachers. Her dad taught maths and physics and her mom was a headmistress in a girls school. She went around the village telling everyone happily that I'm going to school now. I can read and write now. Growing up the child of two teachers, Mary was taught to read and write very early. Mary did very well in school. She skipped the grades and even learned with everyone who were two years older than her. But still, she was top in the class. At the time, Poland was under the control of Russia. People were not allowed to read and write anything in Polish language. Her father lost the job because he was in the favor of Polish rule. When Mary was 12, her mother died. This was a very big, difficult time for young Mary. In such times, Mary could not think of going to the university in some other country as the women were not allowed to enter a Polish university in those times. Hence, they had to go to some other country to go to universities like France. Mary's elder sister was also interested in learning medicine. But Mary and her sister did not have enough money to go to university. So Mary agreed to work to help pay her sister's education. So her sister went to France to learn medicine. Mary worked as a tutor in order to pay the education. She also read a lot of books on maths and science in these days. Six years passed and her sister completed her medical education. And then she wrote to Mary in which she said, Mary, it's time to you to learn now. Come to France. Mary was very happy and went to study in France in Sorbonne University. In France, Mary lived the life of a very poor college student. But she loved every minute of it. She was learning so much. After three years, she graduated in physics. When the Paris Promotional Society asked Mary to research the performance on steel magnet, she was very happy because she wanted to continue her studies in Paris. But her laboratory was so small that she could not work satisfactorily. Just then, she was introduced to Perry Curie by a professor at the university and they started to work together and research together. The two of them fell in love and got married after one year. They soon had their first child, a daughter. The research still continued. Perry then borrowed a university warehouse in order to secure a better laboratory. The research continued for several years. In 1898, Curies announced the discovery of two new elements. Mary named one of the element as polonium after the birthplace Poland and she named the other radium because it gave very strong rays. The Curies came upon with the term radioactivity to describe elements that emitted strong rays. The discovery of new element made them so famous and they also received their first Nobel Prize together. One rainy night, Perry Curie lost his life in an accident. After Perry's death, a lot of academic societies provided help to Mary. Mary's research still continued after that. She then published a book titled Introduction to Radioactivity. Her research was acknowledged and she received a second Nobel Prize in chemistry for isolating radium. When the First World War broke out, Mary invented a mobile X-ray which was called the Little Curie and trained about 150 women to operate it. 
She also treated patients by going around the battlefield and helped save lives by her research. She died on July 4th, 1934 due to leukemia caused due to exposure to radiation during her work as some say. Mary Curie, who discovered radium and made a lot of achievements, is a true scientist who developed her own path with her own will and hard work. So will and hard work will always lead to success. I hope you've enjoyed the story and now let's go to make a toy. So as Mary Curie won her Nobel Prize in Chemistry, I thought why not do some kitchen chemistry today? So you all must be having all the material that we need for today's experiment just in your house. Very basic material. So what all do we need? We need some lemon juice, some soap solution that is just add water to some washing soap and turmeric solution. Water plus turmeric powder. Two clear glass or bowls to mix the solutions. Let's start. So today we are going to use the turmeric solution as an indicator to test which of this is basic and acidic. So let me tell you the property of the turmeric solution that it, ch it changes its color when added to basic solution. Let's start. Take some drops of lemon juice in one bowl and some drops of soap solution. Start adding few drops of turmeric solution in the lemon juice. Stir and keep it aside. Now add some drops of turmeric solution in the soap solution. Stir. Can you see the soap solution turned red? That is, this is a basic solution. The soap solution is basic and lemon juice, juice is acidic. Now let's see what will happen if we start adding some lemon juice to this solution. This solution now has some soap solution and some turmeric. Now let's add some lemon juice to it. You can see it is regaining its original color. So this reaction is nothing but neutralization reaction where the acid and base neutralizes to give salt and water. Fun, right? Had fun with changing colors, right? Great. Let's do one more experiment today. Here you need more simpler material. Some cubes of ice, some salt, table salt and some thread. Let's start. I've placed an ice cube inside the plate and placing my string over it. Now sprinkle some salt on top and wait. This experiment may take some time as the ice should melt the water inside the thread which does not have salt in it should again freeze with the coldness because of the coldness of the ice and the thread gets trapped inside the crystals on top and the ice at bottom. Yay! And right to pick up the ice with a string. So what actually happens is the salt decreases the freezing point of water and the melting point of ice. You can do one more thing is you can take two bowls, fill them with water, put a pinch of salt in one and keep them in the freezer. Now what do you think will happen? Which one will freeze first? You can check it after every 5 to 10 minutes. Yes, the water which does not have salt in it will freeze first. This is because the water with salt, that is the salty water, requires lower temperatures. That is 
below 0 degree Celsius to freeze. And as we put in salt on the ice, it started melting and there was some water inside the string that was not salty and it started freezing because of the temperature of the ice below and the thread got stuck in between the ice crystals on top and the ice cube. I hope you enjoyed both the experiments today. And I think you can do one more thing today is you must all be knowing what a periodic table is. Yes, the table with all the elements listed in there. As Marie Curie discovered radium and polonium, you all can discover, I mean find out elements hidden in your house. Like if you have a cupboard or a chair, see what it is made up of. If it is made up of iron, you found iron. Then mark it in your periodic table. Go in the kitchen. I'm sure you'll get a lot of stuff in the kitchen. One of them will be aluminium vessels. Yes, you found aluminium. Go search such elements in your house and let me know what you found in the comments below. I hope you loved the story today and the toys and experiments. Hope to see you next time. Like, share and subscribe. Bye.